the Vikings from Denmark, Norway, and Sweden expanded rapidly around 1,230 years ago. To understand their genetic influence, researchers sequenced the DNA of 442 ancient humans from Europe and Greenland. They discovered that before the Viking Age, people from the south and east moved into Scandinavia, spreading from Denmark and eastern Sweden. Despite similar modern Scandinavian languages, there were genetic differences within the region over 1,000 years ago. Danish Vikings mainly settled in England, Swedish Vikings in the Baltic, and Norwegian Vikings in Ireland, Iceland, and Greenland. During the Viking Age, there was significant foreign European ancestry in Scandinavia. Some Viking expeditions included close family members. Comparing Viking DNA with modern Scandinavian DNA, researchers found notable changes in genes related to traits like skin color. Overall, the Viking expansion involved extensive interaction with other regions, influencing the genetics of both the Vikings and the populations they encountered. From about 1,250 to 950 years ago, Scandinavia experienced a significant transformation known as the Viking Age. During these 300 years, the Vikings changed the political, cultural, and demographic landscape of Europe in lasting ways. They established trade routes and settlements from the American East Coast to Asia, spreading new ideas, technologies, languages, and beliefs. As they traveled, they developed new social and political structures, absorbed cultural influences, and converted to Christianity. Our current understanding of the Viking Age comes mainly from written records and archaeological finds. This period is often marked by the first documented Viking raid on Lindisfarne around 1230 years ago and the defeat of a Norwegian army at Stamford Bridge about 950 years ago. Modern perspectives, however, view the Viking Age as a complex process with varying impacts across different regions. Instead of a deliberate expansion, it is now seen as a gradual diaspora that evolved over time. Despite this, many questions remain about the Viking Age. We still do not fully understand the demographic changes during this time. Whether the Scandinavian population was diverse or homogenous, how much Vikings mixed with the local populations they encountered, and how much foreign ancestry they brought back to Scandinavia. To understand the genetic history of the Viking era, scientists studied the DNA of ancient human remains from different time periods. They looked at remains from various regions connected to Viking culture, including Scandinavia, Greenland, and parts of Europe. By comparing the ancient DNA with that of modern people and other ancient samples, they aimed to learn more about the genetic makeup, migrations, and interactions of Viking Age populations. Even though Viking Age Scandinavians shared similar culture, language, and tools, they didn't have a single word to describe a shared Scandinavian identity. The term Viking back then meant pirate or sea warrior. Instead of one Viking world, there were many Viking worlds created by their fast-growing exploration, trade, war, and settlement efforts thanks to their ability to navigate the open sea. It is still unclear if Vikings had a common genetic background, and if outside influences played a role in the transition from the Iron Age to the Viking era. Scientists found that most Viking Age samples were similar to European Bronze Age and Iron Age populations who had ancestry from ancient pastoralist groups from the Pontic Caspian steppe that moved into Europe about 5,000 years ago. Using a technique called UMAP, they discovered more detailed genetic differences. From the Bronze Age onward, Europeans could be grouped into four main ancestry clusters, early Bronze Age steppe people, pre-Bronze Age Neolithic Europeans, Baltic Bronze Age individuals, and Scandinavian Iron Age and early Viking Age individuals. Viking Age individuals showed a lot of genetic diversity based on their geographic regions, indicating a complex genetic structure. The study showed that Scandinavian ancestry changed over time. From the Bronze Age to the Iron Age, there was a decrease in ancestry from Neolithic farmers and an increase in ancestry from steppe people and hunter-gatherers. During the Viking Age, Farmer ancestry slightly increased again, but varied across Scandinavia. Southern Sweden had individuals with high farmer ancestry, while Norway and Denmark had more uniform ancestry. Additionally, there was a small influx of Eastern ancestry in the early Viking Age, particularly in Eastern and Central Sweden and some parts of Norway. This Eastern ancestry came from groups related to either East Asians or people from the Caucasus region. 
Overall, scientists found that the genetic makeup of Viking Age Scandinavia came from three earlier groups, Mesolithic hunter-gatherers, Neolithic farmers, and Bronze Age pastoralists. Interestingly, the results also showed ongoing gene flow from the south and east into Iron Age Scandinavia. These findings support archaeological claims of significant population changes in Scandinavia after the fall of the Roman Empire during the late Iron Age. However, scientists note that their samples from periods before the Viking Age are limited, so they don't fully capture the genetic diversity of Scandinavia during that time. By the end of the Iron Age, around 1,200 years ago, Scandinavia was made up of many small competing kingdoms that shared a common culture. For centuries, their economy relied on raiding, trading, and exchanging gifts. However, how this evolved into the organized seafaring society of the Viking Age is still debated. Many believe that seafaring helped create strong connections across Scandinavia during the Viking era. The Norwegian cluster included ancient Norwegian individuals, distinct from those in Sweden and Denmark. Most central and eastern Swedish individuals grouped with Danish individuals. People from southwestern Sweden clustered with modern Danes from eastern islands like Funen and Zealand, while some had connections to eastern Europeans, especially those from Gotland, likely indicating Baltic ancestry. This complexity reflects the varied genetic influences in different regions of Viking Age Scandinavia. Scientists used a method called Chromopainter to study the DNA of Viking Age Scandinavians and found four major ancestry components Danish like, Swedish like, Norwegian like, and North Atlantic, likely from Celtic individuals in the British Isles. During the Viking Age, Norwegian like and Swedish like ancestries were most common in Norway and Sweden, respectively, while Danish like and North Atlantic ancestries were spread throughout Scandinavia. Interestingly, the Swedish like component was higher in Salm, Estonia, due to individuals from a famous Viking ship burial there. Most Viking Age settlements had mixed ancestries, but Jutland in Denmark did not show significant Swedish-like or Norwegian-like components. Gene flow within Scandinavia mostly moved northward, with Danish Vikings moving into Norway and Sweden. Most Viking Age genomes align with Danish, Norwegian, Swedish, or British populations, but there are exceptions, such as two individuals from northern Norway with Sami ancestry. Genetic diversity was high among Viking Age groups, with Denmark and Gotland showing the highest diversity, indicating they were centers of trade and interaction. Genetic contacts between different groups, including Norwegian and Sami, were already occurring during the Viking Age. Present-day country boundaries don't always match genetic data, with southwestern Sweden being more similar to Danish populations. Gotland shows more Danish-like, British-like, and Finnish-like ancestry than Swedish, indicating extensive maritime contacts. Orland has high genetic diversity and varied recent ancestry, fitting its history of long-distance migration and trade. Both islands were key trading posts from the Roman period onwards. The study reveals clear genetic differences within Scandinavia, with southern Sweden and Denmark being cosmopolitan centers, rather than a highly connected overall population. Viking ships enabled extensive raids, trade, and settlements across Europe and the North Atlantic. Norwegian and Danish Vikings moved westward to places like England and Iceland, while Swedish Vikings, the Rus, expanded eastward, influencing early Russian state formation. Genetic analysis supports these patterns, showing Norwegian ancestry in western migrations and Swedish ancestry in eastern ones. Danish-like ancestry is notable in England, but it's hard to separate from earlier Angles and Saxons. Some places adopted Viking culture without much Scandinavian ancestry, like Orkney Islands, where most Viking Age individuals had mostly UK ancestry. Scandinavian genes mixed into local populations during the Viking Age, with non-Scandinavian ancestry from the Finnish, Baltic, British Isles, and Southern Europe appearing in different parts of Scandinavia. This indicates significant interactions and migrations during this period. A few inland individuals in Sweden showed unexpected genetic ties to earlier Danish populations, suggesting localized cultural isolation. From around 1040 to 580 years ago, Scandinavians settled in Greenland, likely originating from Iceland. They reached North America around 1000 years ago, but didn't establish permanent settlements. The Norse eventually disappeared from Greenland, likely due to European social, economic, and climatic changes. 
The genomes show no long-term inbreeding or local population ancestry, suggesting little intermarriage. Their genetic makeup included both Scandinavian and British Isles ancestry. A notable Viking burial in Estonia revealed that elite warriors, including close relatives, participated in raids, reflecting early interactions between Sweden and the Baltic region. Scientists analyzed hundreds of ancient genomes to study genetic changes over the last 10,000 years. They used a method called NeoScan to detect significant allele frequency shifts. One major finding was the increase in the lactase persistence allele, allowing adults to digest milk, which rose significantly during the Iron Age. Other areas of selection included regions related to the immune system and pigmentation. Viking Age Scandinavians likely had a range of eye and hair colors similar to present-day Scandinavians with no single Viking phenotype. Scientists compared Viking Age genomes with modern Danish genomes to study differences in traits like hair color and height. Overall, Viking Age and present-day Scandinavians share subtle genetic similarities, indicating a genetic legacy from the Viking Age in modern populations. Present-day Scandinavian populations still reflect the ancient Viking genetic groups with notable Norwegian-like and Swedish-like ancestries. Outside Scandinavia, Viking genetic influence is limited but present, especially in Poland and the British Isles. The Vikings integrated into local populations, blending their genetics. Modern Norwegians have 12% to 25% British-like ancestry, and Swedes have about 10%. This indicates a significant genetic legacy from Viking times, despite integration. Our understanding of the Viking Age has mainly come from history and archaeology, which show it as a time of high mobility and trade. Genomic analyses reveal a complex picture. Danish Vikings moved to Britain, Norwegian Vikings to Ireland, Iceland and Greenland, and Swedish Vikings eastward. Ancestry mixed across regions, creating diverse communities. Not all parts of Scandinavia were equally connected. Coastal trading hubs like Gotland and Oland had more genetic diversity than inland areas. Overall, Viking Age Scandinavia had distinct genetic zones with limited external gene flow, maintaining regional differences despite extensive maritime networks. Vikings were not just a continuation of earlier Scandinavian groups. Foreign gene flow from the south and east began in the Iron Age and increased during the Viking Age. Many Vikings had significant foreign ancestry, challenging the idea of pure Scandinavian ancestry. Foreign peoples contributed more to Scandinavian genetics than vice versa, likely due to the smaller Viking population size. Please like and subscribe for more such videos. Thanks for watching.